You guys already know that 2023 is our year, okay? Phantom, hey, thanks for the 33 months, squad. Haven't been here in a while, supporting from the back lines, though. Also, that e-girl stuff is, wow, how do you even leak that? That's wild. Did somebody hack one of the girls? Did y'all hear about the e-girls thing, like, in the chat? No? Oh, my God. I don't know about the mean girls? Says, let me spill the tea. Let me spill the tea, okay? Bunch of mean girls. Mean girls. Be afraid. Not all girls are mean like that, but it was like a secret chat. And these girls were like in the background, right? These e-girls, hundreds of thousands of followers each. They were just being mean. They was being really mean. I'll, I'll show you. Let's just get into it. Have you ever seen the Dave Chappelle skit? These girls, they qualify for like literally top place at the haters ball. They always out there. The haters are always watching. They always praying on your downfall. We joke about the haters praying on your downfall, but this was it, living incarnation. And this person created a thread saying, your favorite e-girls are actually horrible human beings. Smiley face. Absolutely disgusting behavior. Y'all are adults acting like this, all right? The receipts here are really messed up. The first one here says, gonna say Steph gave me COVID and called me a and the N-word. And if she didn't, this girl said, I need her canceled immediately. The person said, I'm about to Photoshop her saying slurs. Well, that's like the first one, right? Like literally right off the bat, just straight up, just racism. <laughs> they they said the C word, but they didn't say the N word. They, they, whoever it is was brave. I don't know who said that, but damn. Now, I don't know who leaked it, right? But these girls have all since, I think they deactivated on Twitter. <laughs> They hit the ejecto seat because of like quickly. I think one of them tried to apologize and then afterwards ejecto seat because of this girl had said, I attempted to take my own life days before my high school graduation. Now I am graduated cum laude with bachelor's degree from one of the country's top public university. And this girl said petition to get her to try again. That shit is vile. There's two reasons why this is out of pocket. Number one, right? The fact that this is something that came into her brain and then she processed it in her brain and then she had the decision making to type it and then to put it on paper, that's out of pocket. But what's also out of pocket is that she felt safe in this group chat to post it. That's two reasons for this being out of pocket. That's wild. That's like the inner thoughts that someone might have of an evil person, but they were like, but I can't say that because you know, they did both. Out of pocket. Next one was, listen, if there's anything anyone can come for me for doxing and hacking people, I'm scared to post because of her. I hate drama. SM. Nah, that's fair me too. I hate drama. Saying, and I'm positive I can scare that bitch shitless. And she's like insane. Threatening to dox and hack people and scare people. Absolute mean girl perpetrator. Now, if you look at some of the quote retweets or some of the other e-girls you would say on there, a lot of them are kind of upset. They're saying, number one, not all you girls are like this, which is absolutely freaking true. But a lot of the girls are saying, this is why I kind of like am afraid to make friends or be in circles and groups. And they say that this is actually freaking rampant. Like it's absolutely wild. But we know this. We know that haters run rampant. From what I heard, one of the girls was suspended on Twitter and came back and saw the whole convo and got kicked with a lot of girls in the GC the moment they noticed. So it was one of the girls in the chat that exposed it. I mean, I imagine unless someone hacked it, that's the only way it could have happened. It was an inside job. The people were Lil Rory Vert, Pixel Girlfriend, Suwuki, and at Super Etchy. You all disgust me. These are popular girls. I love them. What are your honest thoughts about this? Anyway, she's fat and she can die. These bitches are cutthroat, bro. Bro, I don't know. They all have egos. Oh, Rory. Another thing baby said about me, especially the fat, ugly, edited ones, was when I was overtaking Amber. Nah, it's okay. Honestly, I was so tired of pretending to hold connections for the sake of being a Twitter woman. So it's like a competition. I mean, I never really thought about it this way, but I guess when you look at the e-girls community, <laughs> you got, I guess, Amaranth, like all the way at the top making like millions and millions of dollars i guess some people look at it as like a competitive thing to see if they can become the best e-girl and they will knock some out this is such bad energy and bad juju like all combined into one this is just like hate like you know on anime where they portray like those mean girls or those mean people and they have those evil faces and there's a whole bunch of them it's like a crowd and you're like oh i think they're all staring at me this is it they exist <laughs> It's literally true. I said, I don't care, bro. You guys are so funny. I I love y'all. I can't start normalizing fat phobia. Crying laughing emoji. I love y'all too. Nah, this is actually, I love you guys. I'm dying. 
I'm crying. Bald. Got bald. Bald. They making fun of bald people too? Wow. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. How did I become a victim of this? What did I do? I didn't even do nothing. Guys, don't cancel me by, but I hate the fats. What? When they would WNA, I'd cry. Bald people are uggo. Damn. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Because cause I don't know if you guys have been spoiled by One Punch Man, and I won't spoil you guys, but there's a freaking comic strip that's been popping up every freaking two seconds on my Twitter with freaking Saitama having W Riz. Super W Riz. Bald people actually have secret bald Riz that are only selected only select bald people can have. And there's there's only a specific kind of Riz. When Aiden Raw shaved his head, he was trying to get the bald Riz. He learned about the the, the hidden bald Riz. It's the one piece. <laughs> uh, you're all grown ass women as well, spending your time on Twitter saying vile shit privately, say it publicly, and say it with your chest, perhaps. Naughty or nice. The arm on baby is hilarious because no amount of FaceTime can make you not obese. Isn't blank Asian though? What? But it's so weird that these girls will be fake nice then say a bunch of shit and are grown. And I just think all the SJW shit is so cringe, especially because most of them are white and East Asian. Bro, race war. I told you. Listen, I'm always right. What did I say to you guys yesterday? At the end of the day, all problems, it boils down to race war. <laughs> You're so fat, lose weight and turn pretty challenge. Cancer failed. This is someone's fake Twitter. She's ugly, fat, whore. That's literally Mean Girls. She said, <laughs> Regina George is a fugly slut. <laughs> but she did all this on Twitter, dude. It gets worse? Wait, I haven't read past that. It gets worse? Ain't no way it gets worse than that. Stop. Stop. Don't say it gets worse. I know why now. When Amber told me she made out with that girl Usagi, I was stunned Nah, I cannot explain to you. I was like, what in the pick me behavior? It's giving me faking being bi for the male gaze. Wonder why she was making out with a girl in front of my boyfriend. Like it's not giving ethnic. Why does she want to be you so bad? Man, don't fucking make out with some random chick in front of my boyfriend die. And I think she sent me that gift so that I would text her and ask it was from her. Weird ass behavior. There's some drama. God, that's drama, dog. Now, I want to say this to be to be com completely fair, okay? Because I just want to <laughs> set the table right, okay? But I know dudes that are just as dramatic as like as this, okay? Just as dramatic. I know there are guy chats. I haven't been in them because if I'm one of those chats, I just bounce. But there's a lot of drama with dudes as well, okay? So this, is, this ain't a girl thing. Is there are mean guys. There's Andrew Tate. We've already been talking about him all freaking day. And you've seen his secret text. Fucked up, fucked up. The Omni Uncensored is the highlight of my evening. Hey, I am so glad. Nah, I can't take this. I gotta lie down. I feel so validated. I always thought I was insane for not liking these women. I was like, maybe I'm just cynical. No, they are all insane. Dot, dot, dot. Damn. The, the pot calling the kettle black. No way she had the audacity to say you were not that pretty. Bitch, you look like you ate me three times. A baby is a linebacker, IRL die now you don't understand she needs to be in the nfl there's something about reading the 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 behind the closed door inner thoughts of human beings that really makes you think it really makes you be like damn you know what i'm saying it, it makes you feel like damn this is this is you live like this and it's, it's not even like this is one of the worst things that happens into the world kind of thing but yeah dog so much hate the pettiness level of this is extreme unoriginal and boring white woman moment damn damn we white shaming now we white woman shaming now that's wild maddie also edits her body like crazy she's really small irl like petite five foot tiny skinny woman yeah why does she edit her entire body no shot she's native bro she's so white irl i have to go to the hospital right now but like i love this group this has been the best talk i've ever had on this fucking app what the fuck these people are in here saying some of the worst things that you can say and she said, I have to go to the hospital, but you guys, this is the best talk I have ever had. Like, <laughs> I am so glad to be surrounded by so much hatred and negativity. <laughs> I kind of respect it. It's like the League of Villains being like, 
<laughs> guys, I just want to let you know the toxicity in the air. Uh, it's it's sending me to the hospital right now. But the bad juju, this has been the best. Meanwhile, in the Legion of Doom. I hate when chronically online people make up fake accusations and want to Photoshop shit to make others hate someone. But that's it. And, you know, I don't know who this person is who's exposing it. <clears throat> but I feel like potentially they got their own chats. Too. I feel like I think there's just chats. There's just sanctions. There's just people. You know, it's clicks. They got clicks. There's, there's high school. It's in, it's in the YouTube community, too. They got clicks in the YouTube community, too. I'm sure of it. Oh, well, sorry. I saw your cat and was like, we send in pets. It's pet sending hours. IRL is also like horrifying. Her face doesn't move. She has so much filler. It's scary. What? What does that mean? Haha. Uh -huh, I generally can't stand her. Ew. A monster. I hate when white people use minority struggles and racism to make others hate someone. What the fuck? It's not their fight to fight or business. I'm sorry. What? <clears throat> what? Are they talking about like when white people get like offended on other people's behalf? Is that what she's talking about? Like Speedy Gonzalez getting canceled and white people are like, how dare they make Speedy Gonzalez? <gasps> Cancel them. Cancel the voice actor. Cancel the cartoonist. And like Mexicans are like, yo, Speedy Gonzalez is dope. What the fuck are you talking about? Like. I had an epiphany. Steph always makes up some bullshit for attention. Like when she says someone grabbed her ass at a club in LA and started crying. So cringe. Weirdo. Like she has to make herself center of attention. Now, I love how you said she talked shit about you. Why? It's no one's fault. Like someone's... This person has freaking DMs? Messages? Like someone said, oh, she did that for attention for Carnal Who? So that's what I thought. And I didn't do that. I did not remember her. Why would I get groped? It's been a whole blank. For a guy's attention? And that didn't come from me. I don't know. But do you know how many times that happens in LA clubs at all to other people? What the fuck? What? Who is this? Amber? Mimsy? That's messed up. Same. Not gonna lie. I hate fat and bald people. Damn. Ugh. Gonna mute. And then people were sending her... When she, when this person released it, people were sending more DMs of the conversations that this happened. Girl, why are they mad about the fat shaming to manipulate anything? Just don't eat and go to the gym. When she barely can read, why are they not fat shaming is my question. <laughs> Please, they use baby and pics to make themselves look skinnier. 1000 IQ. Stop. Nah, I'm not kidding. I've curated a community that fat shames people and bullies people. Who is, yo, Usagi seems to be a problem. Now, all right, I want to see if these people are actually still on Twitter. Now, I need to know. The Usagi person seems like she's the, the leader of the hateration group. Oh, she's gone. Lil Rory Vert is gone. She's no longer on Twitter. She has fled the internet. Here's Pixel Girlfriend. Jesus, she had 137,000 followers, dog. One of them gave a twit longer? Which one? Which one? Where's the, tw where's the tweet? Which one had the twit longer? Mimsy and Usagi? Oh, Usagi. Mimsy's still on Twitter. Oh, she had 1.2 million followers. Bro, she's huge. She's huge. Is it really chat GPT or people joking? That is chat GPT. Chat? Chat? Was it really chat GPT or are they just joking that it was chat GPT? God, how many apologies have we read online? I am deeply apologetic to everyone I hurt and offended by the tweets I made in 2017. I was immature and trying to fit in with the wrong people, though that's not an excuse. Those tweets are not a reflection of who I am today. Although, I am by no means a perfect person. I have since grown up and done my best to move on from the environment that I was in. I'm ashamed of how I acted in previous years and as of recently and still have a lot of reflecting to do. It's always interesting. Um, the concept of when people apologize, when they make a comparison to like a perfect person, I think literally no one expects anybody to be perfect. Right. So when that, when that comparison is used, it's like, <laughs> so here's the apology. And then someone said, write an apology message about my 2017 racist tweets and my hateful messages and group chats and discord messages. <laughs> I am deeply apologetic to everyone I hurt and offended by the tweets I made in 2017. Ain't no way. This has got to be a cap. This has got to be a cap. This has got to be a cap. That's the exact same sentence. This has got to be a troll. <laughs> I was immature and trying to fit in with the wrong people, though that's not an excuse. You know what? No, it's a joke. It's the exact same one. It's a joke. It's a joke. That's what this is. This is a meme. Okay. There's even a cap right there. 
Like, can you copy and paste it? It's my. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, you imagine people going on the internet and spreading misinformation like that? That's crazy. And then people were like, this is true. 